Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about mon returning and also about some new promo photos that they've released for Episode 2. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so there was this article that was released by TV Line yesterday, and they asked Supergirl showrunners about returning people in Supergirl's series finale, and in the season as a whole. Okay, so this is how it goes, we're gonna just go through the article and we're gonna break it down. So the title is, Supergirl Bosses on the possibility of one hour's return in final season. Here is how it goes. Supergirl is coming to an end after six seasons and we'll soon be saying goodbye to Kara Danvers and the rest of her super friends for good. As we head into the final season, showrunners Robert Rovner and Jessica Queller say they're working on bringing a few familiar characters back to National City before the CW series wraps. This is a quote. We absolutely have plans for familiar faces to hopefully appear in the season finale. Well, it should be series finale if we're actually correct in that, because it is the final episode of the show. However, let's move on. So Quella tells TV Line that, and she says, We're hoping that works out and we'll have a very emotional full circle with some of our own favourites. Let's just quickly break down the start of this article. So this is Jessica Quella talking to TV Line about who might return. She confirms that yes, they are planning to bring back familiar faces in the final season. She specifically says the season finale, meaning that maybe we won't get like a proper story arc with some of these returning characters because she is saying one episode. So yeah, they do have plans. Who's gonna return, we don't know, but she says they want a few people to appear in the season finale and they're hoping that works out and we'll have a very emotional full circle with some of our own favorites. And so who are those favorites? And who have they reached out to? Well, they won't tell us who they've reached out to, they never do. Like, with the 100th episode, they kept mon and Chris Wood coming back completely under wraps, and they didn't tell anyone. So that was the thing that happened under the radar. Mostly, we actually get notified of this stuff. However, there is some surprises, but they don't actually like to come out and say, before a major returning character is coming back that they will let everyone know. So don't expect them to be going around saying yes 100% Wynn is coming back or mon is coming back or anything like that. However, this article is to mon and we'll get to that in a minute. But who are some of those favourites? So let's list a few people out. Well number one, you have mon -El. That's arguably the biggest emotional full circle that they could do because literal seasons are heavily to do with him and his connection to Kara. Season two and three were almost entirely about mon and Kara together. And then obviously season four and since then the ramifications of that. So he's vitally important and he should be on their list. The next one that pops out is Wynn. We definitely know that Jeremy is up for coming back, but he hasn't been contacted apparently, according to a recent interview. But again, he wouldn't reveal it if he is under an NDA, like under an agreement. They can't say it, otherwise they will get sued. So that's why most TV show showrunners and returning actors literally barely ever reveal that they're coming back because they have agreements saying that you know, you need to keep this confidential that you're coming back because it's going to be a big surprise for the fans. So please, don't say anything, right? So I got a feeling they've definitely contacted Jeremy and I feel like they've contacted Chris. However, who are the other big characters? You have Callista Flockhart who plays Cat Grant. That will be the next biggest one, I would say, arguably. I don't think Callista's actually going to come back unless it's for a tiny, tiny cameo. I would have said maybe, but because they've cast a young Cat Grant, I think that works in replacement of that. That kind of fits in, yes, this is Cat Grant, although it's a different actor playing them. We did bring Cat Grant back for the last season for a mini story arc. So I don't think Callista's actually going to return. So I would say one of the next biggest characters would be Maggie, and this would be a big thing for Alex. So if you're talking about who's the most important, Maggie was super important over the past few seasons for Alex because this whole thing, this whole big storyline with Alex was about her wanting a kid. That never happened with Maggie because Maggie didn't want the same thing. They broke up and Maggie hasn't been seen since. However, it would be great if Alex adopts a kid and then Maggie sees it and I feel like that would be a full circle emotional arc for them. So those are the main characters I would say arguably. Obviously there are a lot of other characters who could return and probably will return, but I'm gonna say those are the most important ones that we should see. Okay, let's continue with this TV line article. So one of the familiar faces 
that we hope will appear is Marnell, played by Chris Wood, who we last saw in an alternate timeline fighting Rain in the show's 100th episode where he died. And so Quella says it's unclear if the former prince of Daxon will return for the final season. And so it's very important that she says it's unclear and obviously she says some other stuff, but with her saying it's unclear rather than saying a flat out no, that means that it's still up in the air and Monel could totally return if Chris wants to come back and if they find a perfect way to end the show and bring him back. Okay, so they go on to say, at this point we don't have any plans for Monel to return, but if it takes us there, Rovner adds, we love Chris. He's a, he's a part of the Supergirl family, but at the moment we don't have plans for him to return. So online, people have been looking at this article and they've been freaking out about it. So if you guys want Monel to return, I would say don't give up hope yet. Obviously, I really want him to return. He's one of my favorite Supergirl characters. I would say after Supergirl and Alex, he is my favorite character. So yeah, I think with the way that they word it, they say, at this point, we don't have plans for Monel to return, but if it takes us there, and then there's the dot 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 after that, with Rovner actually saying, but if it takes us there, he's implying that, you know, if they plan to do this, when they actually plan out their season finale, or the series finale, because it's the final episode, I think he is definitely open to it, and I think they are both open to it, and obviously this might just be the optimistic side of me talking, however, just the way they word it, if you guys look specifically, just, but if it takes us there, I really do think there is a possibility if Chris wants to return. Chris is in Vancouver right now, obviously he's living with Melissa. Travel isn't very easy, so that means he's going to be staying in Vancouver for at least until August, because we don't know when things are going to lift in terms of restrictions in Canada and America. So he's going to be around, and yes, they might not have plans for Monel to return like next week or like in the script that they're currently working on right now. However, they're not going to reveal any of this in an interview. They're not going to be like, yes, Chris is going to return. If they reveal it in an interview, they're going to reveal it like the week of, like the week of the finale. And they'll be like, yes, we finally decided Chris is coming back. He's going to be playing mon in the season finale in a small cameo. I think that is the way that it would go down. However, it's very important to note that obviously there is a chance that mon could not return. And so I get why everyone is a bit scared by this interview, but it does seem like we can be a bit optimistic when we look at what they've said. But especially with the circumstances of him literally being in Vancouver and the showrunners literally saying that they want to bring some of their favorites back and, you know, creating this full circle emotional arc for their characters, it would be a huge mistake if they didn't get Chris back as mon especially for Kara, because I feel like everyone is predicting at the end of Supergirl, the way they're going to end the season and the whole show is that she's probably going to go to the future and be with mon -El. That's most people's predictions and that is very valid because I think it's highly unlikely that the show is going to end with them killing off Supergirl like they did to Green Arrow to Oliver Queen because Supergirl isn't that kind of show and also they need a way to explain why Supergirl isn't in the present, you know, because the Flash is continuing and all the other shows are, and why she isn't showing up in any of these upcoming crossovers that they're gonna have. So it seems like everything has been set up perfectly that she can go to the future, therefore she's not gonna be in the present, so the heroes of the present can't call upon her. She's gonna be with mon -El, that is going to act as the full circle arc for her character, so I really do think that is a high possibility of how the show will end. So yeah, I would say just by reading this article and going back over it, I think there is definitely a chance that they open up to a mon -El return. And if Chris really wants to come back, I think he will come back. And I think Melissa will want that too. And especially if they can't get anyone back who is stuck in America, they need to get someone who is familiar and has shown up on the show and has been in the show for a long time to return and they are 100% gonna get Chris otherwise they would be stupid. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so episode two is obviously coming the week after next, 
Episode 1, they just released the sneak peek. I'm going to be making a video on that over the next few days. It's going to be premiering March 30th, so that is in three days' time. So get ready for that. Obviously, we're going to review it straight away after Supergirl airs in the evening. So please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss that because you guys are not going to want to miss it. Let me tell you that because I'm super excited for Supergirl Season 6, Episode 1, and especially because it's its final season. Okay, so yeah, they released some promo photos for episode 2, let's just quickly break this down before we head to the end of this video. Okay, so the first photo, and this is for a few good women, that is the title of the episode, sees three of our heroes, that being Nia, Brainy, and Megan, and they're inside the tower. They are listening to what is presumably John, and they are looking at whatever is happening on the other side of the camera. So Brainy is obviously alive, Megan is going to be sticking around for a few episodes, she is going to be a familiar face who's going to be back. Now let's move over to Catco, and over here you have Lex's big forehead all over the screens and it's just extra funny i'm not dissing on john cryer here i'm just saying look at it like they've split him up and he's like all over the place and his face doesn't align to each different tv screen so i just found that a bit funny but basically it's a catco piece on him being guilty because the world currently sees him as a hero because of what he's done with obsidian's tech and that's a whole big thing that we've gone over recently in our Supergirl videos talking about the episode 2 synopsis and the episode 1 synopsis so go check out those videos over the past week. So Andrea is here and Andrea is talking to Lena and so Lena is going to be playing a big part in trying to take Lex down in these first couple of episodes and we know Lex is going to be in at least episode 1, 2 and 3, possibly even more. Okay, so let's move over. We've got a little bit of a flash cross over here. We've got Kelly showing up with a big belly burger. Obviously, big belly burger is from Central City. And so, you know, that's a really nice Easter egg to include for the final season because we're not sure if the flash, if Grant is actually going to be able to show up. But that is a familiar face that I would really like to see. And I'm going to be doing a video on that pretty soon. But I'm presuming Kelly is getting this takeaway for her and Alex. Okay, so back in the tower, you've got this tech guy, I don't know who he is, but I'm presuming he's helping them out, but John is pointing his finger at him, and it seems like he's threatening him or telling him what to do, but it just seems very confrontative. Also, take a peep at his shirt, it's a Martian Manhunter symbol shirt, that is really cool. And so in the distance, you see McGunn. Alright, so the tower has some weird lighting, so it's very red and it's a bit greeny, so something is happening in the tower. You got Brainy on his phone, probably tracking something, and so Nia is suited up next to him. Also, in the same lighting, you've got Alex and you got Jean fully suited up, and so something is appearing in the tower, but we don't know what it is from these photos. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is probably the arrival of Zor-El. We know Zor-El is going to be returning. Zor-El is Kara's father. He has just been recast. We dropped that exclusive news yesterday on the channel, so go check out that video if you missed it because there is a bunch of casting information for Supergirl Season 6 in yesterday's video. And so some Warner Brothers sources confirmed that Jason Bear is playing Zor-El. And I had a bit of backlash due to that tweet that I did and the video because people were like, is this really an exclusive because we were all theorizing about it? I was also theorizing about it, so when I saw the casting information, I was like, huh, well, this confirms that he's playing this character. So it confirms my theory and confirms all your theories. But yeah, on Twitter, some people were like, we already knew this. Well, we actually didn't know that. That was just theories. Well, now it's confirmed anyway. That was just like a little bit of a rant to get out the way. But anyway, so we got Nia here in this other photo. You got Alex in the background inside the fortress. She's about to use her powers. And so you get a wider view of this. And Jean is using his Martian powers. And it looks like same with Megan in the background. And this tech helper guy is also here. And Alex and Brainy are like clutching onto the ground. So something that is really powerful is turned up. And my theory is this is probably Zorel. Also, it must be noted in these photos, Supergirl is completely absent. So, is Supergirl not going to be showing up in episode 2? Well, I think she's going to be showing up just a tiny bit, because episode 1 she actually shot back in March, and that is why she's in the trailers, she's in the promos, she's in the synopsis. Well, she is featured in the synopsis for episode 2, I just don't think she's going to be in that much of it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any videos. 
Also remember, later tonight we're going to be doing a Zoom call at around 10.30 p.m. UK time, which is about 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to join the call with me and your fellow members, now is the time because you got a few hours until the call, so I'll be notified if you become a member and I'll give you the link to the Zoom. This is a monthly thing that we're going to be doing, so thank you guys so much for supporting the channel just by watching the videos, but also if you go the extra step and become a member, that is awesome. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.